Last year, we spent about $60,000 a year for child care for our four kids here in the state of Massachusetts. And people love to ask us, how come we can't find more affordable options? Why don't we do something different? How come you don't have a nanny? Whatever the questions might be, there's always a question as to how come we spend so much money. And honestly, it is an astronomical amount of money. And here in the state of Massachusetts, it is one of the highest cost places for child care. But it is important to note that child care is hard to find. Child care is unaffordable for most families and inaccessible to many, meaning you will wait on very long wait lists just to get your kid in. There is high demand and low supply. It is just very difficult to navigate. And sometimes if you're like me, you can get one kid into this daycare and then one kid into this, this daycare, but not together. And so care.com recently broke down some numbers and I think it's important to look at them because when people tell you just get a nanny or just go to a home daycare, sure, that makes a difference for some people, but it's not always accessible and nannies are not less expensive than daycare. These are some numbers from 2022 here on the right and on the left is 2023. As you can see, a nanny is the most expensive. I don't know why people think nannies are not expensive. They are expensive and they should be because they are people who are working and they deserve good pay, they deserve benefits, etc. But nannies are expensive. They are kind of like the luxury version of childcare. Then you have a more traditional daycare center and then you have family centers and or home-based centers. These are the average costs per week, per week, per kid, for infants in 2022 and 2023. Those are big numbers and they don't get any better when you're looking at toddlers over here. And one of my favorite things that people think about childcare is that as soon as your kids go to public school, that there are no more childcare costs. But if you look over here, there are. After school nannies, after school babysitters, after school programs, they're not cheap in my town. Some people are paying $900 for the after school program a month. That's not cheap. And here's the thing, childcare is essential. Most families need childcare because most families are dual income homes. And most people need to be dual income homes because of so many factors like the cost of groceries, housing costs, the cost for our car, the fact that most of us just can't afford to live on one salary in this economy. So with us having two family members working a dual income home, you need childcare. It has to be there. And oftentimes people will say, there's absolutely no way you pay that much money for childcare. Like you have to be doing something wrong. But if you just look, State by state, you can see how this happens. I live in Massachusetts. It is one of the most expensive places for childcare. I will show you what that looks like. And maybe if you don't live in one of these expensive areas, you might not relate, but if you do, I'm sure you can feel my pain. Most expensive states for a nanny, Massachusetts, number one. Most expensive states for babysitter, Massachusetts. Most expensive states for daycare, number three. Like it is crazy. The numbers really truly are crazy sometimes and it's hard to wrap your brain around. I get it if you're not in it, but it's not helpful to tell families to find a more affordable option because these are the numbers. This is what is happening. It's not about doing more research or finding better options that are cheaper. This is what's available to families and they're doing the best they can. The childcare industry is in crisis. Our country has a childcare crisis on its hands and telling families to find more affordable options is not actually helpful because they don't exist for many of us. And even if they do exist, they're not accessible because you can't get into them.